The first ever complete English translation of the Quran was in 1734. George Sale from England produced the first scholarly translation of the Quran direct from Arabic into English. Sale reportedly spent 25 years in Arabia, thus acquiring his knowledge of the Arabic language and customs during this time. The Sale Quran was published and made available in American bookstores where Thomas Jefferson, who was to co-author the Declaration of Independence, purchased one in 1765. In 1858, England began its occupation of South Asia and the Indian Empire. During this time, Muslim scholars from India were being educated by the British and in 1911, Dr. Mirza Abu Fazl, a native of Allahabad, India, became the first Muslim to present a translation of the Quran into English, along with the original Arabic text. In 1914, a progressive Muslim movement began to sweep across the Lahore province of British India. They called themselves the Lahore Ahmadiyya Movement. Led by Mahulana Muhammad Ali, they set themselves on a path to propagate Islam throughout the world. The group began a publishing company that produced vast amounts of Islamic literature in various languages, including English. In 1917, Muhammad Ali translated and published the Quran with a commentary in both English and Urdu. He became recognized internationally by Muslims and non-Muslims as an authority on Islam. Ali also organized worldwide missionary activities and in 1920 sent his first Muslim missionary to America. His name was Dr. Mufti Muhammad Sadiq. As a representative of the Ahmadiyya movement, his mission was converting Americans to the religion of Islam. He arrived in America in 1920 and started a monthly magazine called The Muslim Sunrise, which contained articles on Islam and attracted a substantial number of converts. A few years later, another missionary came to America from India. His name was W.D. Farrard. Farrard brought Ahmadiyya publications, including the Muhammad Ali Quran, directly to the inner cities of America. There, he was introduced to a man named Elijah Poole, who would later become known as the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. Master Farrard Muhammad gave him 104 books to study. And Elijah Muhammad said to me, the best of those books was the Holy Quran. And the other 103 all contained aspects of the life of Prophet Muhammad. God says there, a uh, uh, religion, I have completed my favor upon you and choose for you Islam as a religion. Elijah Muhammad put Islam squarely into the public limelight for the first time in North America and began the process of non-Muslims understanding the Quran. This resulted in a wave of harassment from the FBI and local police as government officials tried to halt the new demand for English translation.